Hey guys, welcome back to a special Christmas edition of Brew Review. Today we're checking out Hardywood's Christmas Morning. So uh, we've wrapped up the Christmas morning here in true fashion. Why don't you go ahead and do the honors and open our gift. Sure. Tell us a little bit more about Christmas morning. It's a different take on Hardywood's annual gingerbread stout. So I believe the base is the gingerbread stout, but they it's, it's, it's a little aged. Hmm. Okay, so the Hardywood Christmas Morning is an imperial milk stout with spices and coffee. Christmas Morning lends a cheerful decadence to our gingerbread stout through a deep conditioning on locally roasted Mexican Chiapas coffee beans from Black Hand Coffee Company. Skip the leftover cookies and milk and awaken your senses with this delightful holiday tradition. So this is a 9.2% offering milk stout, 55 IBU, 500 ml bottle. How much do these bottles cost, by the way? Like, um, like six bucks. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. I thought it was like 13 bucks. They used to come in different sizing. They used to come in the 750 milliliter. Those were around 10, 11 dollars. Oh. But now they lowered it to the 500 milliliter, so they drop it in price too. Interesting. Mm. Mm. I'm getting, um, I'm getting a lot of that roasty, the roastiness of like actual yeah. coffee. Yeah, no, it does, it smells like roasted coffee beans. I wonder how sweet. Yeah, I was gonna. I was thinking that it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be kind of sweet. Yeah, I mean it's a milk stout, and then on top of that, it's an imperial milk stout. So some great looking uh, head on that. It's just like this tan, dark tan color. Very, uh, very appealing. Well, yeah, that's that's about all I get on the nose. You want to dive right in? Sure. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. A really kind of milky consistency. Mm-hmm. Like it's really smooth. This does remind me of their GBS, their gingerbread stout. Mm. But it's like the gingerbread stout with a handful of... Spices. Of, well, no, it's it's always a spicy, but I was gonna say it's like a gingerbread stout mixed with a ton of coffee beans. And there's also this like, this like lingering spiciness to it. Mm -hmm. There's like a spicy note that's right up front and then like it follows by like this kind of woody character to it. Maybe it's a clove. Maybe it's be. one of the spices that they put in this beer. That could very well be. Yeah, cloviness. Yep, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of all like the holiday desserts, which is why it's another fan favorite, I think. During Christmas time, we had these like cinnamon sticks that you'd leave out that kind of mm -hmm. aerate the house a little bit or, or you know provide some sort of fragrance. And uh, I think at some point my mom snuck some cloves in there Ooh. and it kind of like took, like I think the cinnamon sticks smell died after a while, after being like super old and years and years of like abuse. Um, so I think, uh, I think that's what it reminds me of the most. It definitely gives me the feeling of like Christmas. Yeah. This is like the quintessential, so far of all the Christmas beers we've had, this is the quintessential kind of Christmas aroma and flavor that I would associate with that holiday. Yeah, for sure. I think we're drinking it a little bit cold, and I think a lot of these more pronounced coffee notes and the toffiness to it um, and the malt is is just gonna start building and building as it gets warmer. Mm -hmm. I like the can art especially. It's mm -hmm. always the funnest thing for me to see when this comes out. This that's what I look for. The gingerbread. The gingerbread man <laughs> in the in the rocking chair and a gingerbread man on a on a hobby horse. Those With gingerbread men remind me of uh, the gingerbread man from Shrek. The cap has a little gingerbread man on it. I know it's super cute. Actually, I think this year they had like some kind of a big uh, festival for the gingerbread stout, and they had the actual caricatures. Really? So there were gingerbread men walking around and taking photo, photos with That's them. That's awesome. <laughs> it was really cute. That is cute. <laughs> well, I'd say this is, a, this is a, if you can find this, this is definitely worth picking up. It's kind of a once a year thing. Um, you know, it's, it's one of those beers that even if you don't like uh, imperial 
stouts or, or milk stouts or spices or coffee. You know, it's something that you have to try at least once. Um, this has become kind of a staple in our household. Um, we typically get at least one of these every year. Um, it's just, it goes along hand in hand with the season and it's kind of a, one of those beers that I feel like we judge other Christmas beers off of. Yeah, definitely. It's like... It's a staple. It's like a yeah. de facto, this is the one that we compare everything else to. Yeah, as far as holiday beers, for sure. Yeah. This is the correct level of spiciness to have in a beer. It's not overwhelming. It's not, you know, too in your face. It's not off-putting. And mm -hmm. it doesn't hide any of the character of the actual beer itself. It's just, it's there, it's present, but it's kind of in the background. Although it's enough to like, to notice. Like it, it adds to the beer. It adds to the season for me personally. I now feel like it's Christmas because I've been having <laughs> Christmas morning and gingerbread style. I mean, all these beers from Hardywood, you guys release um, some excellent, some excellent beers. And this is, is just no exception. Christmas morning is a must try for pretty much everybody. All right guys, well that does it from us. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to click that subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified when new videos release. We wanna wish everybody a very happy holidays and don't forget at 200 subscribers, we'll be doing a very special giveaway with a couple Hardywood special offerings from the Family Tree Collection. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers.